visit Maharaji, then naturally your devotion increases. His darshan, his association is so divine, so powerful that uh, the devotion increases and the knowledge of philosophy also increases in his association. When you come back, then you have to increase your sadhana by remembering his words, his pastimes, and all other things which are in your memory. So you go there and then you increase your sadhana here, then go there, increase your sadhana here. If you are doing it, then naturally it helps. If you don't go to him for a long time, then gradually uh, that fever which you had when you were there, when you came back, it starts going down. And then gradually, because this world is material and our mind is material, it is naturally attracted towards the material world. That's why gradually the mind, steelsly, the mind starts going towards the material world again. It chooses material benefits material attractions again. So, to keep your mind straight towards God or towards your goal of life, it is important to visit Maharaji at least once in a year. And then attend all the satsang here. Whatever you can do, because, and especially when some prachara is here, then you will listen to the philosophy, and uh, you will have satsang. So it will also, as a kind of refresher course, you know, uh, it, is, it will also inspire you again to increase your sadhana. So mainly you have to do your sadhana over here. Being with Maharaji for a very long time is uh, not a good idea according to me, it is not a good idea. Because when you give more chance to live with Maharaji for a longer time, then you take it, um, you know, very normal, and you, do, you forget about the importance. You forget that you are getting the grace of God. That's why you are staying here with, a, with a, a saint. And sometimes people start seeing faults even in Maharaji. And if they are not seeing faults in Maharaji, they will see faults in other high class devotees. So it will be a Nama Prada. Instead of getting Nama Prada over there, better you, after some time you come back and you increase your sadhana here and do satsang as much as you can. And uh, you must not miss any satsang. Generally, people miss the satsang for the small material causes. Somebody is coming, somebody is going, oh, he has to, my son has to go, there, my daughter was leaving today, so what? So, why are you, why are you putting satsang? Somebody is going, let him go, coming, let him come. Suppose some um, relative from India is coming here, and um, you are staying with him, you are taking him everywhere, everything is okay, but today is satsang. Tell him that I am going in satsang, this is my routine, I am going to satsang. If you are interested, you can also come, you are most welcome. If he says, no, I, I will not go in satsang, okay, then you stay home, have rest. No, you also don't go, because I am not going. They say that, or you think that, that is wrong. Why? You cannot come in good for a good cause with me, and why should I stay at home? For you. That's for nothing. Why? So, we have to do some duties. Duty means duty, without being attached to them. But we get attached. So, we must
must not miss any satsang, we must not miss our own sadhana. Even if we have 20 people here, your guests, you must not miss your sadhana. See, this is my routine. I have to do this.